What a moment here! Fight fans, welcome back. This year of boxing has exploded into life and the intensity shows no sign of letting up. Well, this year alone has been great. We're making boxing great again, bro. All the fucking dream fights that we've been wanting to see, they've been coming true. Loathed by some, loved by many, King Rai set the pace by stepping out of his comfort zone and into the furnace. Oh my God. Two rounds, two rounds, two rounds, you're going to sleep. Two rounds? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Tell him bad again. <laughs> Gervonta closed the show. Haney scraped past Loma. Hey, for now, bro. For now. Benavidez clipped plant. Plant doing his best to stave off the attack, but he's getting nailed. And Teofimo turned back time to terrorize Taylor. Is Gordo back? He's back. They don't know Gordo. They don't know, know the, they don't know the snake box of God. From the amateurs, he got a whole different style. An emerging talent. Yeah. Look at a Floyd Mayweather defense. People don't know that he can really move like that. Even these huge fights only serve as an appetizer to the main course. The best sporting event that can be made. As two of the biggest stars finally lock horns to determine who reigns supreme. When you talked about this being maybe the greatest fight in the welterweight division in the last 40 years or something, well, let me remind you of some of those fights. We got Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy the Hitman Hearns. There's been a lot of criticism that I'm afraid to fight a Tommy Hearns. We had Hearns versus Durant. Okay. Hearns put him to sleep in two rounds. We saw Alexis Aguilo versus Aaron Brock. In this fight up there with all of them, Definitely. A Texas Terminator battling back from the brink. Yeah, everybody already know. As soon as I get in the ring, I'm stepping. The truth! It don't matter who it is. Errol the Truth Spence Jr. here in I'm just gonna run him over. Facing a ferocious fisherman. <laughs> eager to fry his biggest catch. I'm gonna gut him and I'm gonna fillet him. Man, you like his left foot behind oh. in the world. All roads end at the ultimate showdown that will surpass them all. Here, we take a closer look at Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Everybody down! October 2019, Errol Spence Jr. left the sporting world with hearts and mouths as news broke of a devastating single vehicle collision. As a Ferrari flipped on a Dallas street, in that car was Errol Spence Jr. Exiting the wreckage. Errol, it's great to see you. First time you've spoken in public about it. You look good. What was the extent of your injuries? Sporting far less damage than first expected, Spence reacted to the death-defying incident in his own inimitable style. I'm a savage, boasted the man who now craves undisputed status. Escaping with no broken bones, Spence admitted he still suffers PTSD. Even when I'm at the red light, like I just envision like a car coming and crashing into a meal. Others believe he also suffers lasting physical damage from that evening. He's not all there. I'm not looking at his, his physical, I'm looking yeah. at his side soul. That style that Errol fights. You're in there with us. You have to grind every a single day. The car wreck, I don't care what you do or what you look like, that does have an effect. You know, I'm a rational person, so I should be the dog to my car crash, eye injuries. Sad news for the boxing world that we're looking forward to this fight. I'm wondering who the hell he was sparring that actually caused that injury. Well, first of all, uh, um, I pray for uh, fast recovery of Errol Spence. My hard work in training uh, is not wasted. All of us uh, were willing to fight in, in challenge. My career was supposed to be over. People were saying, oh, he's going to be a shell in himself. Not that he showed any rust in his comeback wins. Straight after the eye injury, hey, man, you want to tune up? No, I don't want to tune up. 
Give me Ugas, I gotta get that third belt. So you do I can bring the dollar with you. told you, I am the champion of the WBA, and I showed it tonight. Was he more difficult than you expected? We lost tonight, but, uh, you know, I did my best. And, and I already knew I was going to watch him, because let's say, oh, he's too comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> In the house with his woman, you know, kissing, making coffee. Oh, I got him. And now Spence looking to hammer away upon Ugas. Look at the truth go. And you throw so many damn punches. Numerically through three rounds. Spence 36 of 88 for a 40% connect percentage. You just slang and the And he's staying in the off. pocket too. Whoa. Going kamikaze when I'm wildin'. I'm going out all violent. Okay. Yeah, I'm stylin'. Can't talk now, go silent. That's priceless. I'm in control of my vices. Like I had a parcel in my mouth from a car Okay. He just... He just, dude, hit me, dude. The first thing come to my mind is my teeth on the ground. <laughs> Although the type of momentary lapse displayed against your Dennis Ugas cannot be tolerated against Cold Cut Crawford. Everybody know who I want next. I want Terrence Crawford next. Like I said, I'm gonna get these straps. I'm gonna go over there and take his sh too. Only Errol himself truly knows what is left in a frame that has not tasted competitive action for 15 months. Adding some unexpected spice to proceedings, Sugar Shane Mosley passed on his knowledge of a little known sparring event between Errol and Bud that supposedly ended badly for the Omaha man. Spence kind of did some damage to uh, Crawford before when they, you know, spar, they both know each other. You know, there's a little rumor going around that y'all spar once. Everybody knows okay. Know okay. All right, so <laughs> everybody got your answers because people keep asking me. The unpolished amateur who lost to welterweight rivals Danny Garcia and Cuba's Ugas has shed that skin and is every inch the stone cold killer. He is the most instinctual, innate fighter. One of the most instinctual I've ever seen. Yeah, that's quite a statement. Errol Spence faces a fiercely independent pugilist holding a chip on his shoulder who will avoid the taste of defeat at any cost. Witness the power of this. How about to win it again? Terrence Crawford is a man used to doing things his way. Bob couldn't secure me to Spence fight when I was with him. So how are you going to secure me to Spence fight when I'm not with him? Cutting ties with top rank. I tore it down, then I jumped shit. Yeah. After an extremely fruitful spell that saw him unify the entire 140 pound division. And now, the undisputed. Only one opponent remains on the radar. He's not catching me with no fishing pole, hey, listen. man. I'm the biggest. Witness the power. They all been caught before. Man, Every not with no fishing pole. Every last one of them. A brief sojourn with the fledgling BLK Prime outfit finally led Terrence over to the PBC and a natural date with destiny. The fight falling apart last fall motivated everybody. Let's stop playing around. Let's stop faulting everybody. You talk to them, I talk to my people, and let's come together and see what we can do to make this fight happen. Because it left such a bad taste in everyone's mouth. So when we did come back together earlier this year, there was sort of a newfound motivation. In late 2021, I didn't wear a shirt today because okay. initially I wanted to show you that I've been working. Showtime! And so for me to be that guy that he can't dominate, to be that guy the power. That, that beats him to the punch, that, that finishes the exchanges. And Man, Sean, we always had a, a great relationship ever since the amateur days. I got pictures with me, him, Demetrius, Andretti. It's always been love. But come November 20th, I'm going to step on him. I got a maneuver. 
have to win it again. Crawford stopped Sean Porter. It was a definitive statement that made the fight with common opponent Spence unavoidable. The best two fighters in the world. And you got a FaceTime for up. me and you didn't answer. I don't know your number. Save it. Making personal phone calls to one another in an attempt to settle any differences, both men realized it was simply now or never. But how the fight got made is not getting enough credit. They got together off to the side, not with the suits, apart from the suits. The suits made it messy. We did have a side bet, but I gave him that when we was in negotiations to make the fight happen. How much we talking here? A lot more than our first bit. What was the first bit? Yeah, I know. Y'all yeah, seen the video. What's my bet on it? What you want to bet Whoa. on? Can bet a hundred thousand on that. Let's bet a million. Easy. Easy. Trained to perfection by Brian. <laughs> oh! Bo Mac McIntyre. Bud just stopped the last ten opponents. Just maybe Errol gonna be number eleven. I've been watching Smith a long time. To me. Uh, he's still doing the same thing. Yeah. If he ain't changed then, he ain't gonna change the time he get in there with, with Terrence. CompuBox backs up Crawford's perfect mesh of offense to defense, placing him in the top five of landed power connects and top ten of limiting an opponent's power punches. Crawford's the reason why he's been my number one pound for pound guy. I think he's special. Conceding a two-inch reach disparity, Spence features in the top 10 of connected jabs. His port side range finder is known as a key asset. I felt it was a great competitive fight, to be honest. The difference in the in the fight was just the, the, the jabs. He had a pretty good jab, and I, th I think that was the key to the fight, his jab. Errol is just 1% lower than Terrence when it comes to hitting the target with power punches, 22 of Spence's 28 victims have fallen early, resulting in a 79% KO ratio. Man down, straight up CZ, I know what time it is, baby. Two years older at 35, Crawford has punished 30 opponents out of 39, amassing a 77% ratio. The margins are that fine. Standing 1.5 inches shorter at 5 foot 8, it's hard to believe the compact Crawford squeezed his frame down to 137 pounds when making his 2008 pro debut. 15 years and 224 rounds later, the three-weight king is now a stout welterweight demolisher. Is he the finisher? They all expect him to be! He is! Pierre, Errol, first, what is it like, again, the difference between the amateur and the pros now that you're two fights in? Um, the main difference is no headgear and no computer scoring. Since reaching the quarterfinal of the 2012 Olympics, guided consistently by WorldWise coach Derek James. Derek James was also a fighter himself. Nasty super middleweight at one time. Just an extensive amateur background. I mean, oh, oh, right hand, down goes Joe Lipsy. Years ago. Puts Joe Lipsy down with a right. Time. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Spence has packed 142 rounds. Just stick to the plan. Into his 11 year professional career. Another right hand by Spence. Errol Spence Jr. getting off to a great start in his pro career. Comfortable launching bombs from either stance. Switch hitting Crawford possesses incredible movement, fast feet, and ring IQ. You a smart man, but not that smart. The Nebraskan cleverly disguises his punches to beat you at his game. Earl was prepared to beat me at my game. I'm better than you talent-wise, skill-wise, and I know I got more dollars than you, and you're gonna find out September 28th. Oh, right on the chin. And Terrence was prepared to beat me at his game. His physical talent is, is up, up in the stratosphere. I mean, he's special like a Sugar Ray Leonard was special. Sugar Ray scoring again. Like a Penel Whitaker was special. 
Keen to apply his usual brand of educated, steady pressure, Spence employs a strong jab and terrific body assaults. He works the body very well. He's been called a ferocious body puncher. It was the body shot that dropped Barrera to open that body up again. He's Here got he to go comes. downstairs. Looking to assert himself in the exchanges is a staple of a man who tries to beat you at your own game. Bud will use his movement and patience to discover angles and openings while working out Spence's patterns. If Spence leans forward and commits too often with his powerful one-twos, Crawford will swiftly capitalize with sharp counter shots. They don't know how strong I am! If he allows Spence to gain a rhythm and launch too many hard blows, then Bud could find himself constantly on the retreat. Spence cannot afford to throw predictable rope combinations as a man of Terence's boxing intellect will adjust and destroy. Speed, power, and adaptability are all defined by paper-thin borderlines. In the end, it could come down to heart. Who has the most dog? Pressure bus fights. When you got a guy like Spence putting pressure on you, what, what's going to happen? And I know Crawford. Crawford going to want to test me and see what's all this man down stuff about. <laughs> That dog will be in full effect on fight night if either man finds himself in trouble. You got hurt by Gambo. That's right. You got hurt by Gambo. Yeah. Crawford looks a little off balance right now. You better believe he will do everything in his power to dig a way out. Why? Well, then that. what? We see it. It don't matter. It don't matter. Huh, after that. that. Some of the usual naysayers may claim this fight is happening too late, but they still watched Mayweather Pacquiao and they'll be tuned back in to the most significant contest since because neither Spence or Crawford have shown any noticeable signs of a decline to date. With influencer boxing on the rise, our sport needs an event that presents two of the finest on offer. Yeah, I guarantee I'm fresh. you. Grab that. When boxing's best stand face to face, nothing compares. Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford for all the marbles. Is that damn close? And the skill level, if this fight go the distance, I wouldn't want to be the judge. <laughs>